Yay, another list. No, we're not doing this in pokey rap format. Catch them, catch them, gotta catch them all. Gotta Pokemon. Catch them all. Pokemon. Pokemon. <laughs> Do you? Eat, I mean, I mean, seriously, people. Do you guys really want to hear Nairman sing the pokey rap? You've heard him sing Brental Floss. What do you think they'll sound like if he tries to pokey rap? Electrode Venonat seeking Butterfree. <laughs> <laughs> oh, also exactly. some sort of kind of tenor or um, soprano. <laughs> Okay, let's well, just... Well, Weird Al Yankovic did his own version of it for the second movie. What, the Pokemon? I love that fucking song. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you like to hear the Poker Up, but in polka form, listen to that. <laughs> Alright. Number 100 is Ghastly. The first Ghost-type Pokemon also gets the honor of being the first Pokemon on this list. So he gets the honor of being the worst Pokemon on the list. Good. <laughs> I'm honored. They got the only Ghost family in the first gen, so whatever. <laughs> He's the reason uptight parents freaked out in the 90s. Him and the game's promotion of evolution. Go figure. Now, hang on. <laughs> Alright. I want to bring something up. Alright. Um... Evolution does not happen over a course of three seconds when when an animal or an amoeba reaches level 30 or gets exposed to a, an enchanted rock. I, but so, it is clearly changing from one thing to another thing. If, if you want to... And I don't about, think there's also an option to press the B button to cancel anything. <laughs> and if, if, you, if you want to talk about like it promoting like animal... Brutality. Okay, you have slightly bit of a case there. Um, if you want to talk about uh, magic and Satanism, okay, go ahead. Uh, the evolution thing, no. That's just fucking stupid. <laughs> I gave my cat a rare candy earlier and I didn't do anything. <laughs> I got sick and died because it was like three years old and moldy, but yeah. Alright, moving on to number 99, Gabite. Fuck you, Garchomp. Yeah, uh, uh, my list. Oh, okay, now see. Yeah, okay, but, uh, my, my, what did uh, uh, wireless battles? My friend Kyle, he had a Garchomp that fucked my tire pony over. <laughs> fuck Garchomp okay. and fuck Cynthia for having one. I, I just want to get this get this off my um out out of my I I get this out right now. I have no knowledge of Pokemon beyond Gold and Silver. So. Uh, uh, would it be correct for me to say yeah. that you're not missing much? <laughs> yeah, you're not missing much. <laughs> black, and white, I... black and white might be a good time to kind of get back into it because it's all new ones. and It's trying to... I don't want to say it's trying to distance itself from the old ones, but it's not focused on the old ones like 3 and 4 were. There's a 3 and 4? I thought it was all colors and minerals. No, 3rd thir gen and 4th gen. Oh, Okay. Number 98 is Cubone, which... Is wearing the skull of its dead mother, which is creepy as fuck. That's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, for children! <laughs> yeah, honestly, I'd be more concerned about Cubone than Ghastly if I were an uptight parent. Honestly, it just disturbs me that when it evolves, the skull becomes its head. <laughs> Number 97 is Onyx, spelled with an I instead of a Y. Fuck you, IGN, you fail at spelling. That's how it's supposed to be spelled. Yeah. Wait, what? That's how it's so supposed to you, be spelled. Lewis. <laughs> really? Yes. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Pokemon fails at spelling. I'm sorry, IGN. Rage. Rage. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Onyx Rocky. is supposed to be spelled with a Y, though. Yes. But all I can say is Onyx, you suck, and Brock, you suck for having him. Uh-huh. All right. And 96 is Hitmon Lee reference. <laughs> Hitmon Lee. The much better choice than Hitmon is, Chain. The funny thing about that is, I see, well, you know, when I think about Hitmon Lee, uh, I mean, Bruce Lee, that is to say, I think about punching, not kicking. When I want to think kicking, I would, the Pokemon would probably be like Hitmon Norris or something. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then, now that you said it, it must happen. <laughs> you know what? It would probably sound more graceful as Hitmon Chuck, but uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 All 
It, my Norse has one attack. Roundhouse kick it instantly kills Judge. everything. <laughs> <laughs> cannot it physically cannot lose, <laughs> except when it fights Hit One Lee. Because <laughs> Bruce Number Lee kicked the shit out of Chuck Norris. <laughs> Number ninety-five is Glaceon. Yay, Eevee Lucian. <laughs> I never got this Pokemon. Killer. Why do you get this one? I like Eevee Lucians. How many? No, not to mention it's one of the Eevee Lucians are there it, now. There seven. Oh, I like ah. I like Glaceon because it's one of the very few single ice type Pokemon. Ice is usually a secondary type for other things. So it's a pure ice type. Yeah. Huh. All right. And number 94 is Goro's retarded cousin, Machamp. Machamp. I, I could never pronounce that as a kid, and I have trouble pronouncing it now. Machamp yeah, was is, the first ever holographic it, Pokemon card I ever owned. Oh, now it's only it, because it's of Stan. <laughs> okay, the, the reason uh, I can't pronounce Machamp is because the way his name is spelled, I look at the first four letters and my brain automatically translated as, translated as Mach. Machamp. And then I... <laughs> <laughs> and then I see the last three letters, and it comes out as amp. But with the ch before that, I, 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 my brain fucks that up and comes out with champ, so I can wind up with mock champ. <laughs> and uh, yeah, adding a second c in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Number ninety-three, Growlithe. Uh, my favorite fire type. What about Arcanine? Oh, Arcanine. Arcanine, Arc, more accurately, but Growlithe is the one that started it all. <laughs> Any thoughts, Lewis? No. Moving on to number 92, Luxray. Eh, I kind of like this Pokemon in Gen 4. It's one of the few I liked in Gen 4. It was my uh, electric type of the game. Me too. Mostly because I could learn Earthquake and Crunch. <laughs> Fucking that, uh, <laughs> that's what I was saying. I didn't really have any other choice. <laughs> yeah, there really weren't many electric types in that show. Yeah. Unless you wanted to try and use a Pikachu, which is kind of pointless, because Pikachu's, sorry to say, suck. Mm -hmm. uh, moving on to number, number 91. Number 91. Kadabra. Kadabra. Uh, spoon. Well, unless we're talking about Sabrina's Kadabra, there's not much else to say. Spoon. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that that, that 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 picture right there. It's like no spider spoon. You can't have it. <laughs> what number are we on? Ninety-one. Ninety-one. Oh, Kadabra. All right. Well, at least I got to skip a Pokemon I have nothing to say about. Kadabra. Kadabra. What can I say? He has a spoon. Spoon. Um, <laughs> and that's about it. Oh, he has a righteous mustache. And Sabrina kicks Pikachu's ass with it. <laughs> right, and, and it can uh, evolve at will. Because Sabrina's number, evil like that. Number 90 is Rapidash. We have a unicorn made of fire here. It's like everything girly about the world. All the girly sucked out of it. <laughs> Always I wanna be with you. By the way, hey, uh, hey. One, of the things, one of the things the anime series brought up is that uh, a, a Rapidash's mane will not harm you if it likes you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just find that bullshit fire is fucking fire. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere near it. <laughs> Apparently can run like 100 miles an hour whenever the fuck it wants. Mm. Uh, season 1 of the anime, you got so many things right and also so many things wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Probably the only dub made by four kids that I actually liked. But you know, I like that um that idea about the fire having that mystical if it likes you thing going on because you know, it fits the unicorn theme. You know, it's just, it has that mythical f friendly yet fierce magic shit going on. Uh number 89 is I don't know this Braviary. one. USA, USA. <laughs> Braviary. Oh, I get it. Except it doesn't look like an eagle at all. It looks like a fucking. What is that feather thing that's got going on its head? What bird has that? Mm. A Pokemon, that's why. <laughs> yeah. Uh, wait, this is a uh, Diamond Pearl Extra Evolution of the Electabuzz yeah, series. Yes, number 98 Electivire. <laughs> Basically, what happened in Gen 4 is that they realized that the stats of the Gen 1 Pokemon kind of sucked because they kept making new ones. 
So in Gen 4, they decided to make a lot of new evolutions to Gen 1 and 2 Pokemon, and not a lot of people were happy with that. <laughs> well, Honestly, I, thought, I think the whole argument about new evolutions to Pokemon is kind of stupid, because if you don't want it to evolve, then don't fucking evolve it. <laughs> I guess for, like, Pokedex well, completion purposes, Pokedex I guess. completion, and people like to competitive battle, battle with it, but it's kind of like... They really should just worry. They should just go in and tweak the stats rather than worry about keeping stats the same and just changing evolutions. Yeah, yeah, that works. But uh, you know, if, if if they didn't fill so many slots with new evolutions of old Pokemon, they might actually have to come up with original concepts. Perish the thought. It's like an electric Yeti. <laughs> <laughs> Number eighty-seven is Meganium, which I suppose is a play on Geranium. Ha. Third stage of a Gen 2 starter. Meganium is... Well, because I never chose Chikorita. And the Golden Silver. I always, I always either was, went with Photodial or Cyndaquil. I always went with Cyndaquil, so <laughs> Chikorita sits on Elm's desk forever. <laughs> <laughs> Number 86. I don't know this Hell, one. The, uh... Pointless, oh, yeah. pointless legendary. I I didn't care. I love the battle music. I just don't care about the Pokemon itself. Neither do I. I think Dialga was much better. I didn't care for any of them, to be honest. <laughs> Number 85, Deoxys. Also known as we're trying 80. to make Mewtwo again, but failing. <laughs> the, the, the only given, the limited to only a giveaway of that thing makes it sound like it's more like a Mew, except with badass factor involved. Uh, it's I a hate, fucking I, alien. I hate does it, it even does it count as a Pokemon? Even considering it was from outer space, I guess so. Maybe as Pokemon originate from space. No, have Pokemon you thought about from that? See us. They came to they came to Earth in in a spaceship. No, like no, 50, they came years to Earth ago. in a spaceship after their planet exploded in a supernova. Oh wait. <laughs> <laughs> no, read the backstory. Arceus did it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he came from space. So there. No, Arceus is God. Okay, <laughs> and if God came from space, then what the hell have I been reading all my life? <laughs> he's in space. He's not God. He's a bit. <laughs> he's not God. He's a misremembered encounter with aliens. Now shut up. <laughs> he's in space. Space. <laughs> yes, we get the portal reference. Oh, good, because now uh. you can start making them now. <laughs> I hope Yahtzee didn't start Brain Scratch comms with this part, because he will instantly hate us for it. <laughs> Number 84 is Rhydon. It's like a giant rhinoceros with a drill on its nose. Fun fact, the very first Pokemon ever developed, or designed. Oh, really? Yes. That's kind of fucking boring, actually. I like Rhyferior better, mostly because of Rock Wrecker. Yeah. Rock Wrecker. It's, it's a 150 base damage. 150. <laughs> <laughs> Number 83 is Electabuzz, and it looks like it's hopping up and down, ooing and eyeing like a chimp. Um, okay. Speaking of That's chimps... <laughs> Number 82 is uh, Infernoid, yet another firefighting starter. I, I realize it's supposed to be Inferno and Ape, but for some reason my eyes gravitate toward Nape. As one word. <laughs> <laughs> is there a reason for that? Am it's I just you. It's just you. Number 81 is Latias. 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 Legendary? Yes. Oh, no. it's I, it's it the, must be legendary. I, I, it's the size of a Pidgey. I, I, I hate Gen 3, to be honest. <laughs> I've never... I can't say anything about it because i never played it. But there's probably a reason for that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me just say this. Number eighty, Steelix. Okay, Onyx was a play on the on, on the on a stone Onyx. Okay, Steelix is just you taking in the word steel and adding X to it. That is not clever. That's annoying. It's stupid, and it's basically a sin. I hate this Pokemon. I hate it. Onyx was fine. It's a rock. End of story. But now it's steel. <laughs> steel. And it, has, and it has a ton yep. of resistances except for fire. <laughs> <laughs> Which uh, completely sucks ass. Yeah. Number, 79, Number 79, Celebi. Celebi, also known as not Mew. Grass Mew. 
But the power to travel through time. I said, I hey, hey, Delorean. hey, guys, guys, guys. You know something? All right. If you take your Pokemon Gold cartridge, dip it in chocolate sauce, swallow it whole, shit it out into the toilet, let it sit for three days, then stick it into your DS light. Okay. All right. Celebi will be the first random encounter you encounter when you start a new game. After realizing that the DS is a backwards compatible with game with games. <laughs> did I say DS? I yeah, you did. I meant 3D. 3D. I thought that was part of the joke. <laughs> Number seventy-eight. Ivy. Stark. <laughs> Which again still sounds like just some kind of impatient one who more Ivy. <laughs> uh, you know what? I, I liked. I like Bulbasaur, the look of Bulbasaur, and I liked, um, whatever the fuck you call the third level Venusaur. one, with its open flower and stuff, Venusaur. I, but Ivysaur always looked like an awkward middle ground, like Ivysaur is going through puberty and well, has that's kind of what the middle back. stage is, but... I know, I'm just saying it looks weird with that half-open flower thing going on. I, I know that's an accurate representation of, of, of how plants grow, but still... Number 77 is I don't Kyurem. know what this one is. Kyurem. Let me guess. It's a legendary? Yes. Well, it looks like God, so it must be. No. Um, <laughs> All I know, the only thing is I caught it immediately after the first battle. I used it in to level it up. It got Pokerus, and I was so happy. Pokerus, okay. that virus. Yeah. Never caught it. I no. have a nice spread. It's all my Pokemon. <laughs> Number 76 is Flareon. Yay, one of the more evolutions. evolutions. You know, before evolutions got old. Not to me, they don't. Uh, <laughs> one for the Chaos Emerald now. It used to be there were just three. For the basic elements. And then where the hell is, why the hell didn't the Leaf Stone work? And it still uh, doesn't work. There's a Leaf on, but you don't use a Leaf Stone for it. It's not one of the basic elements. What are the basic elements, dude? There's a fire one. There's a lightning one. What's the other one? Water. Water. Yes. Fire, uh -huh. lightning, water. Well, God damn it! In Pokemon, leaf can be a natural element. <laughs> I know. I'm just saying those are the traditional three elements. Although the water one is usually replaced by a blizzard spell or something. There we have Glaceon. You happy? <laughs> Seventy-five is I. Absol. This one in. It's Absol. pure dark it like type. A bug spray. <laughs> yeah, it's a pure dark type. It's, but to be honest no, with you, no, it's not bug spray. What it is is fitness in a can. All right. No more crunches. No more sit-ups. No more weightlifting. That has nothing to do with your abs. But this will fix it anyway. And uh, and uh, you won't just have a six-pack. You'll have a twelve-pack. And uh, don't blame us if all the women run away screaming from now on, because... <laughs> we well, realize you got a face growing out of your chest. <laughs> all I know about Absol is it's a pure dark type, but if you want a pure dark type, get Umbreon, it's much better. Alright, number 74, I, I, so I don't know so what this one is. It's Superior, the third stage of the Grass Starter in Gen Number... 74. Blank advertisement screen is... Uh, number 74 is Superior. <laughs> Number 73 is Houndoom. Eh, it's okay. It's Stark Fire, Hound which Doom. is a pretty good combination. Because Hound ends, ends with a D, and, and Doom ends with a D. So if you if you just merge them at the D, you have a perfectly workable Pokemon name. And, um, and uh, give it a pointy tail, because that's devilish. And, and uh, uh, make it a dog. In case, in case the hound part of the name didn't didn't clue you in, and uh, give it horns, except make the horns horns look look uh, fucking stupid and retarded, because uh, <laughs> if we make another scary Pokemon, you know the conservative groups will um, will revolt again, and that didn't end well for our um, for our Kentucky branch. Uh, yeah, uh, they all they all got fried uh, in bread breadcrumbs. What are you and, saying? Uh, <laughs> Moving on to number 72 <laughs> is Kingdra. Kingdra! It's, you know, um, uh, um, Seahorse. Yeah, 
Um, it was funny because I, I, oh, I, I'm, I'm assuming most of us ran into King for the first time at the the final gym leader battle in Gold and Silver. Yeah. I, at that point, I had no idea that uh, they gave Cedra uh, <laughs> an evolution. I was like, whoa, what the fuck happened to Cedra? <laughs> and then, of course, since despite the fact that it's the dragon gym, it's water type only. So I kept using yeah. ice attack to try and kill it. It's like, it's not very effective. Why the fuck not? This is the dragon gym, isn't it? Number 71 is, uh, I don't know what this one is. Samurai, the third stage of the water starter in Gen 5. Huzzah. Number 70, Cyndaquil. I have read it involving this one. Hey, I always one. chose this one. Yeah, I always picked... I, 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 like I mentioned, I only usually pick Totodile or Cyndaquil, but I usually pick Cyndaquil over Totodile. <laughs> okay, you know what? Forget Pikachu. This is the cutest thing on the planet ever. Alright. If only it didn't burn my face whenever I <laughs> pet it. Well, you know, that's what you get for petting a porcupine made of fire. <laughs> you know, in, in case the porcupine part didn't didn't clue you in before the fire did. Number 69. So I heard you like final forms of mudkips. <laughs> was it Marsh oh. Stomp? Swamper. Okay. Swamper. I'm sorry, Marsh Stomp is the second form. <laughs> Uh, where does that? Hmm. I assume Lewis dropped before. That's so I heard you like mud the mud thing yeah, I, come from. I, I thought so. Where does that come from? This... I don't know. Uh, where... I don't know. I don't never got it either. I don't find it particularly funny. I just just know people find it funny. <laughs> <laughs> mud kips. <laughs> I, I, I don't know, I, I get why things become randomly mimetic, but it just doesn't have the same punch as the cake is a lie. Or uh, Pikachu the horn. <laughs> what <laughs> the hell are you talking about? No, never mind, it's I don't want to know. It's the anime, he tells Pikachu to aim for Rhyhorn's horn, even despite the fact that it's rock ground type and electric depths, should have nothing, to, should have no effect on him whatsoever. Even, oh, even years uh, later, Ash is still a complete idiot. <laughs> I thought you meant Pikachu the horn, as in Pikachu is the horn. Okay. But, uh, yeah. Number 28. Sorrow number 68 arc. is... I don't Sorrow know this arc. one. So... It's a, it's a loop it's, and ability it's, confuses it's, uh, even Zorro. me sometimes. So it's Zoro in arc form. Okay. Number 67. Pidgeart. Now, aren't you glad you caught that Pidgey? No. Really. This is a very good Pokemon anyway. No. All I remember is Ash held on to Pidgeot for so fucking long, and the instant it evolved after all this time, he lets it go. <laughs> it's like, you're a fucking <laughs> idiot, Ash. So you had this Pidgeotto since, like, episode three. You hold it on for, like, four fucking seasons, and the second it evolves, you let it go. You're an idiot. Uh, number 66 is Sceptile. Because, you know, it's a reptile, and uh, I don't get where the word scepter comes into <laughs> this Pokemon. It's a scepter. <laughs> but, but, but it sounds cool if you combine it with, with reptile with scepter. So so uh, so we're calling it scepter, scepter but, but don't worry about designing it to, to, to resemble a scepter, because that would just look weird, and it might possibly look a little phallic. So so we're, we're going to just <laughs> just make a lizard thing, and we'll call it scepter. And... Uh, yeah, Gen 3. Number 65 60, is Leap Sack Source. Hex. <laughs> Hex. Fear my Leap Hack Source skills. <laughs> Fuck you, you stupid dragon type, despite the fact that my water type is faster than yours. If I still, you still go faster than me. So I can't use my Ice Beam to kill you in one shot. Fucking spam Outrage. Fucking hacking piece of shit. And much like Lance, the gym lead, the eighth gym leader has a hack source well before she should really have one. <laughs> what is it with dragon trainers and completely breaking the game? I don't know. That's just how they roll. Number sixty four is Kabutops. <laughs> Liked them much better than Omastar, not despite the fact that they're both kind of useless. I, I, I remember back from the Pokemon Yellow playthrough that I heard that. Why does my internet was... keep dropping? I have what no number idea. are we on? We're in 64, Kabutops. 
Because I, I, uh, I remember back in the Pokemon Yellow playthrough, I remember this. Uh, I think it was Ted said that Omastar was ultimately the better choice in terms of stats. No, Kabutops. But Kabutops oh, was looks awesome. It has size for hands. <laughs> <laughs> it's a praying mantis. What's so special about that? It's brown. It's That's dead. what's special. Praying mantises are usually green, but we're going to make this one brown, and we're going to give it a head shaped like, um, like a manta ray for no apparent reason. <laughs> Yeah, that that is that is genius art design, and I am a genius for thinking it up. Why isn't the why is it why aren't the the, the denizens of this boardroom jumping up and giving each other high fives already? I just came up with the best Pokemon design ever. No, no one tough crowd. <laughs> <laughs> Number sixty three, Quilava. <laughs> yeah, because. Uh, because combining words that end and begin on, on the same letter uh, We've been through this Really good names <laughs> We've been through this <laughs> yeah. 62 Metagross Another third gen Pokemon I don't care about And I pretty much, I, I pretty much gonna say the same thing for every single third gen that we see in this list because I I never play third gen, so I honestly have nothing to say about them, yeah. unless they you know made an appearance in maybe in the fourth gen or in the fifth gen that I just don't know about. Yeah, and number sixty one, God. <laughs> <laughs> Next we go for God. Yep, no, no, we did that. Oh, no, we did that too. <laughs> Let's, let's see, we have time and space, every single hue and emotion, all the elements of the planet. Next, we go for God. Oh, nope, did that too. Pokemon, the fifth generation. Fuck! Fuck. <laughs> Why does Skype keep dropping now? It's worse than the villains play, than the villains list. Because it's you, Lewis. <sighs> Number 61 what? is Arceus. Oh. God. <laughs> Yeah. What else can you get? <laughs> it's the only Pokemon that could be every single type. <laughs> Can't really say much about God. <laughs> <laughs> like Superman, it's boring when it's <laughs> indestructible. <laughs> the, basically, they only made it so they can make something more powerful in base stat form than Mewtwo. Uh -huh. Number 60 is Darkrai. Event Legendary, never got it, don't care. What was so special about this one? Uh, it's What's evil. It's because it was Dark Tide Legendary? Was that it? I, I think so. No. Oh, well. Uh, I like this description. Okay. According to Pokemon Theology, Arceus invented the universe. Invented the universe? <laughs> no, really. True story. <laughs> Even if he's kind of funny looking, how do you beat that? You don't. That's how. I remember being so pleased when I finally got my hands on my very own Arceus through a distribution event. Prior to that, my only encounter with this godlike Pokemon was when I would come across a trainer through one of the Pokemon forums with six obviously hacked level 100 Arceuses. Er, Arceuses? RCI? How the heck do you make that plural? <laughs> you don't, that's how. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. How can you I'm have been plural god? <laughs> anyway, number six. Really, it's dark. easy. Uh, there's a father, there's a son, and and, and there's a holy spirit. And, and Polytheism! There's, the holy spirit. <laughs> there's, there's the holy spirit's pet gerbil, and the son has a kitty cat, but he doesn't let the cat out, so you're not going to see that much. And the father doesn't like dogs or cats, so he doesn't really have a pet. So there are only really five of them. But but uh, the cat created the parallel universe Zod comes from, and uh, and um, the gerbil, he's still working on his, but he'll get there. Number sixty, Dark Rye. I don't know what this one is. Fifty nine. Well, you continue to explain your theories of the universe. <laughs> 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 Number 59 is Empoleon. Penguins! <laughs> Penguins! Empoleon, okay. I penguins! Don't know Not just a penguin, but a king of all penguins. Penguins! 
We were like burn ones. <laughs> For 58, it's not a drive. All right. Number 58. I don't know what this one is, but it has a face for each of its hands. And that makes it awesome. It's Dark Dragon type, and it's the highest level level up evolution ever at 66. So, yeah. Damn, are you serious? Yeah. All right, uh, all right, guys. Uh, uh, we're 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 running out of time for our, our, our deadline here, so we need to design one more Pokemon really fast. All right, it's going to be aggressive. Uh, I I don't know what we're gonna call it, but uh, but it's gonna be an aggressive name. Um, I've got it. We're we'll call it Agron, and it'll be a rhinoceros. What do you mean we already invented a rhinoceros? Shut up! <laughs> Is it part of the Gerbils universe? <laughs> this I didn't one make will it. Be, it didn't exist. <laughs> this one will be different than the other rhinoceros. The other rhinoceros was a rhinoceros. This rhinoceros will be a rhinoceros made of metal. So there. Mecha rhinoceros. Except we're still calling it Agron. Because that's aggressive. Yeah. Damn, I'm good. <laughs> Number 56, Hunter. Which, with the show makes you believe, was the only way to beat Sabrina, except it's part poison type, which is for some reason weak to psychic, so it really doesn't help all that much. And I was heartbroken. <laughs> <laughs> TV show lied to me again. <laughs> you know, if you're at the point where you're, where you're falling for that particular lie, you really should have stopped believing the show ages ago. Well, goddammit, Yu-Gi-Oh! had me believe I could launch my catapult turtles and destroy the Dark Illusion castle. <laughs> you, get, you mean Frank's flirtation device that will fall on top of your monsters? <laughs> <laughs> this game is a load of bollocks. <laughs> Number 55 is Raichu, the, the, the Pokemon evolution that nobody ever bothered to get because Pikachu is just infinitely cuter and actually more oh, useful. Give, give me Raichu any day. <laughs> yep. Because America oh, man has oh, one. Oh, I like this description. Poor, Raichu, poor, poor bastard. Little did you know back when you were a cute little Pikachu loved by all, that the second you touched a Thunderstone, that sweet ride would be, would be all over. For some reason, Raichu never gets the attention his bright yellow pre-evolution does. Maybe it's because he's not nearly as cute. Perhaps that's one of the reasons Ash's Pikachu in the cartoon refused to evolve. Pikachu is nobody's fool. <laughs> <sighs> Number 54, Aerodactyl. Never bothered to get one. It's a, a, we'll call it Aerodactyl. It's a pterodactyl that flies in the air. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> who would have guessed, right? <laughs> oh, wait, it already does that. <laughs> Shut up. I am novel and, and original. A and so are my names. Was well, Aerodactyl's uh, defense was off the chart, wasn't it? It's special Ice beam, bitch. Yeah, I was going to say it's special defense sucked ass, but it's defense was awesome. It's like Ice Beam, bitch. The same thing you do to every single one of Lance's Pokemon. Ice Beam, bitch. Alright. Number, Number 50, Espeon. More evolutions. I... Uh, let me let me get the rundown of the uh, the evolutions. Okay, the first one gave us the three basic elements. Uh, the 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 gold and silver generation gave us a dark and light EV evolution pair. Right? What were the two from later? Gen four are the leafy on the leaf, the grass type one, and glacy on the ice type one. Oh, okay. So basically, we have one for every element now. Basically, I so, still want my flying. I, I want my I want my steel, my flying, and my fighting type evolution. Oh, how would a fighting type evolution even work? I don't care. I want it anyway. Damn it! I want it anyway. <laughs> I want it Instead, anyway. It, what is it going to have a fist on its chin? <laughs> hey, they got Ivy Sword to work in Smash Brothers. So, so, fuck so we're you. looking at like Norison now. He's got an extra fist on his face. Norison, yes. Yep. Fuck Norris's EV. <laughs> <laughs> All right, number fifty-two is Bulbasaur. Yeah, you know, it's, it's a favorable under... alternative to Hitmonchuck. <laughs> Bulby. What you mean? It's not a light bulb type Pokemon. God, 
15 yeah, I, well, Bulbasaur, another Pokemon Ash refused to evolve for stupid reasons. I told the the, the, the the art department to give us a light bulb type Pokemon. What What is this plant bullshit? <laughs> See me, you think your idea is cuter than mine. Mine's cuter. Aww. It's a light bulb with googly eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Number 51 is Torterra. Oh, great. So it's another four-legged creature with a plant growing out of its back. You know, for some reason, uh, seeing a turtle with a mountain and a tree growing out of its back and miniature just isn't as cute as a Bulbasaur. I wonder why. But it's grass ground type, which is bloody useful. <laughs> oh, well. God, we just grew a goddamn civilization on his back. <laughs> yeah, because that hasn't been done before. Uh, Number wait. Two. Uh, the last time I saw that was that shitty third Aladdin movie, wasn't it? Yes. <laughs> oh, man. No, leave this civilization out. I don't want those flashbacks. All right, we have Blaziken, one of the very few third-gen Pokemon, or was it fourth? Whatever, third. gen, ruby, and sapphire. Third. One of the very few third-gen Pokemon I, I, lo I uh, well, know about, not necessarily like. It does look pretty cool, and I like the name. In fact, I'm not even going to make a nerdy Pokemon art director, director uh, quote here, because I like the name Blaziken. It's Fire Chicken. <laughs> that also punches you. That's what makes it awesome. Number. Four. It also has like a massive tuft of pubic hair down there, and I don't really want to see that, even if it's pixelated beyond all recognition. You're the one but, noticing uh, yeah. it. Well, but, well, the pixelated thing kind of hurts his case because the 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 pixels make it look like more than pubic hair. Why are you bringing this up? <laughs> because it needs to be noticed. Right? They need to know not to make these mistakes. Like with number 49, Flygon here has not been endowed. That is the way my cute cartoon animals should look. What, what the hell is a Flygon, by the way? I, I don't it's know. It's a third gen Pokemon, I don't care. It's a combination of a fly and a dragon. Flygon. Ah, love it. Because, because Dragonfly is, is too. It's too risque. We need something simpler. Something with only two syllables instead of three. Yeah, so, number 48 is the Pokemon everyone on the planet knows. Pikachu. You know, my father, when I first explained Pokemon to him, when I'm in Pikachu, he says, isn't that the one that, like, gobbles everything up? And I just looked at him and thought, no, Dad. You're thinking about the Tasmanian Devil. <laughs> <laughs> I am disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> I do like Pikachu, but it does get a little too much attention. Every time I see it, I always use my most powerful earthquake attack on it just to put it back in its place. <laughs> like, you may be popular in the world, but you suck in games, so get back in your place, earthquake bitch. You already had your special Pikachu edition. Go back to insignificance, please. Or I swear I will use this Thunderstone on you and you will not enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> then suddenly you'll become the, the, the third wheel. <laughs> Number 47. More evolutions, Vaporeon. Yay! Poor one. Probably the evolution, I think it's the mermaid tank. But, uh, yeah. Number 46, Squirtle, Squirtle. Teenage Bam. Mutant Ninja Squirrels. I like the Squirtle Squad from the car, only because it gives us so many images of a Squirtle in sunglasses. To He's to wearing communist shades before Kamina wore them. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, it just gives us so many pictures of Squirtle with those shades on, so, so that we can transpose the words deal with it onto those pictures <laughs> and use them as internet JPEGs. <laughs> What, what about the one with Charmander on his hip, his hands on his hips, and not a single fuck was given that day? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, number 45 is, well, I don't know what this one is, but it's probably legendary because it's big and it looks like a uh, Lugia. Yep, and it's a legendary from Gen 3, no one cares. 44, War Turtle, also known as the, the uh, also known as Squirtle. Except he's God. 
The only thing I remember from by, by, by War Turtle is that in my missing no glitch, I got a counter level 147 War Turtles in the water. <laughs> I want to bring something up about War Turtle. Okay, all the other Gen One starters. Okay, they they grow something new with every iteration, and 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 it's like growing toward the last one. You know, Bulbasaur's bulb opens up. Uh, Charmander grows into a bigger dragon and eventually grows wings. I what is with the wing things and the puffy tail on War Turtle? Where did that go when he evolved into Blastoise? I don't know. <laughs> maybe it's like uh, like maybe it's like a wing Goomba. <laughs> stop on his head and the wing disappear. <laughs> uh, I'm not exactly sure, because I, I completely agree where the wings go when he evolves into Blast Toys. Yeah. Number 40. Then again, right. why Number does Blast 40. Toys have fucking metal jet cannons hanging up from his shoulders? Because he grew them when he evolved. Okay? He doesn't evolve into a fourth form and lose the cannons, at least... And not, not yet, anyway. Cool. It's like, not yet, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Knowing the Pokemon designers, he just might at some point in time. But, um... Yeah. 43 is... I don't know what that thing is. Melodic. It's a water type. It most sounds like a mental type. condition. Most overused type in the game. It sounds like mental condition. Number 42, Nido King. Because he, he, he's like a king. And he's Nido. <laughs> and he's Nido. <laughs> <laughs> that too. So we'll combine Needles and Nido, and and put King at the end. What, what, what do you mean? What do you mean it has to be eight letters or less? Fuck. <laughs> it's one of my favorite Gen One Pokemon, actually. Yeah. Yep. Well, not one of my favorite to use per se, but one of my favorite to look at. Okay. 41 is Dialga. What is that, the Final Fantasy spell where you dial a phone number at the enemy? <laughs> no, it's the Alga, the opposite to Palkia, and it was <laughs> just as easy as that. <laughs> a little delayed reaction there. <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, it's a legendary Pokemon. I can tell by how many mystical spikes it has out of it. The fact that it looks slightly like God. Um, but isn't. <laughs> What Number is your 40. vision of God, by the way? <laughs> uh, very bright, very mystical and crystalline, and um, and a woman because man because <laughs> man can't possibly know enough to be omniscient. Uh, yeah. So our father is a woman, and our mother is a man. Um, I don't know where I was going with this, but I'm just going to move on to number 40, Umbreon, the evil evolution. <laughs> Which can for some That's... reason learn Shadow Ball. Actually, my favorite evolution. Mine too. Yep. 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 Right. Number Here 39. Has one. Oh. Well, it's not my favorite anymore. He's Gary Oak. <laughs> If Asset has one, I don't want one anymore. Asset doesn't have one. Asset has a Jolteon. Gary has a freaking Umbreon. Because it's Gary fucking Oak, and he knows what's up. <laughs> Wait, there's a difference? Okay. Number 39, Giratina. Ugh, don't care. Don't care. <laughs> I really don't. Hey, I, I, I caught it in that? Platinum just because it's right there, but it's like, I don't it sounds, care. It sounds like something I would... Order at a bar, shaken, not stirred. Okay, um, number 38. Fuck you, Garchomp, it's... and fuck you, Cynthia, for having one. Alright, what's that on his head? Is that a hammerhead? It's a land shark. Is that supposed to be a hammerhead? Because it doesn't look like one. What it looks like is a is a couple of big-ass things attached to a head. I don't know if that's supposed to be a hammerhead, but it looks... It doesn't look like a hammerhead for some reason. I don't know what I'm thinking. It's I'm a land shark. Okay, 37. Oh, it's a street shark. I get it. Oh, no. Ding. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for making that reference, children. Uh, that was... Uh, I probably Your joke was bad and I... you should feel that. <laughs> <laughs> Number 37 is Charmander. What I always chose in Gen 1. Always. This is the paradox of the Charmander school. Alright, for most animals, a tail that was on fire would be a sign of impending death. <laughs> this creature, if its tail ever 
You know, if its tail flame ever goes out, it just dies. So I'm assuming it's the tail flame that pumps blood. Somehow. Sure, why yeah. not? God forbid it walks on a rainy day. <laughs> Number 36, the most useful evolution, Jolteon. Pin missile, bitch! That would be my second, my second favorite evolution. And the one I always went with in red and blue. Sometimes Pin missile, bitch! Also. Because Jolteon's the only thing that can reliably take psychic types out in Gen 1. <laughs> the yeah. only thing. Number 35. If this isn't Moltres. Mega the most Ultra un Chicken. <laughs> the most uninteresting of the uh, legendary birds from the original games. Uh, but that doesn't mean he's bad. It just means, relatively speaking, he, he's a bird made of fire. We've seen them before. God damn it. <laughs> Number 34, right. Salamence, don't care. Gen In 3. Fact, you know something that gets me about Moltres? Okay, he's so uninteresting that the, that the next gen had to create another bird of fire to make up for his uninterestingness. And it, they went a little a, too far. It was far. a new saw him in the first episode. Or second, <laughs> I forget which. Yeah, I know. Ho oh, oh. Really weird name. A little too colorful for my taste. I think they overdid the we need to make it interesting this time angle. Uh, number 34, Salamence. I don't know what this Gen thing is. Three, don't care. Number 33, Charmeleon. Because, he because became a it's giant a, prick. Because it, it doesn't <laughs> resemble... Wait, why is the Charmeleon... What, what connection to a, to a chameleon does this thing have? I, I get the I get the I get the fun because I, I get the, the the fun that they had with that name because you know if you if you pronounce it with a C as a K it's Carmelian <laughs> but uh, no there's nothing remotely chameleon like about this thing in fact it looks like a baby Tyrannosaurus Rex it became a giant prick <laughs> yeah the well, definition of prick or prick the poster boy <laughs> he got Charmeleon. Number, 30, I, number, number 32, 32 Lucario! Voiced by Sean Chamel. <laughs> also known as... We totally didn't transpose Mewtwo's moveset onto a different character model. This is original! Voiced by Sean Chamel. <laughs> yes, I was about to finish my rant with that, actually. Um, number 31, Nine Tails. Is it a fox? Yes. Oh, my. God. For God's no. sakes, you Get giant your Naruto God. out of my Pokemon. Get this, your Pokemon out of my first. Naruto. This came first, damn it. Get your, get your Naruto out of my Pokemon and get your Pokemon out of my Naruto. And for God's sakes, nine, I mean, uh, Tailwolf should be nine times as effective. <laughs> Maybe then it would be useful. Uh... You know, though, I, I was surprised. I, I'm, I'm not exactly sure if it's been created, but like, knowing the internet, it probably already has. I want a recolored sprite of Nine Tails so that the tails make out the NBC logo. <laughs> <laughs> and bam, I, you got a new mascot. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Thing about Nine Tails is, I'm not exactly sure it's physically possible for something with that many tails to move its tails fast enough to whip you. It's Pokemon. Maybe a tail club move? That would be possible. It's Pokemon. But I know, I'm just saying. It's Pokemon. Number yeah. 30 is Dragonair. Because it's a dragon that that moves through the air. We and didn't that's get... where War Turtle's wing hat went. That We never got to see its episode. Stupid four kids. What happened? Why? Why was that? Because the one, because the rancher dude had a gun, but he never fired it at anything. He just pointed Ugh. it menacingly at Ash for a bit. You know what? You know what? That's not the four kids I know. The four kids would have capitalized on airing the show anyway. They would have just haphazardly pasted a pitchfork over the gun, or not show the gun at all, <laughs> or pointing at you menacingly with our <laughs> invisible guns. <laughs> all right. You know what? There, there was they, they they didn't skimp on editing. In um, in Pokemon either they edited an American food over Japanese food. They the like jelly filled donuts. They digitized out James' fake boobs at one point. No, they um, didn't. No, they, they didn't. They that episode completely. Uh huh. I remember seeing a comparison picture with a. Uh, Maybe I'm thinking of a different episode then. Uh, 
But still, your point about that food thing is wrong. Jelly-filled donuts. <laughs> well, they, they did that. They did replace food at one point, but at another later, point, they just la- went, later, uh, later. went and went we, and called rice balls no, donuts, which is just vaguely jelly. believable. No, it's not. It looks nothing like a donut. If you don't know what powder, a rice I guess ball, a powder donut. It, you don't know what a rice ball is. It just looks like a slightly oddly shaped jelly-filled donut. <laughs> okay, it, it, it doesn't make For sense minute, to us never, because we know what rice balls are. <laughs> Jelly filled donuts. <laughs> Alright, 29 legendary Pokemon that I do not know. You knew it was legendary. Reshiram. It's also white, and that makes it racist. That's so there. Well, wrong, it's on the cover of Pokemon Black. Well, that's even more racist because it's <laughs> because it's, it's a white man on top of the black dude. And, but and, the and black stuff. one's on po- the cover of Pokemon White. And this and black dude you're talking out. about is a backdrop. <laughs> it's still black, that makes it racist. <laughs> Number 28, uh, Snorlax. Yeah, never used to. Uh, hate Snorlax and Gold in the final fight. Really fuck hate the I never, I was never inclined to use him. But does he have a next gen uh, evolution? No, he, has a pre, he has a pre-evolution Munchlax. Oh, it, I remember that. Evolution. Munchlax sounds like a laxative. Um, so because <laughs> uh, it sounds like Madlax. <laughs> no, just the word Munchlax sounds like a laxative. Uh, well, the, what do you what do you think uh, the, the next evolution of Snorlax will look like? I imagine a giant bitch tit. <laughs> Okay, um, number 27 is Lapras. It's only for which... supposed to carry Ash around the Orange Island. <laughs> yes, I know. I was about to make that reference. By the way, why did they make the Orange League series? Because they needed filler to animate filler. Johto. Because they didn't expect the series to be so popular, so they didn't bother drawing any of Johto until, oh crap, this is popular. Get started on Johto, but crap, we don't. We need something to fill the time. Orange Islands... <laughs> <laughs> and let's get rid of Brock and replace him with the incredibly boring Tracy, only to bring him back later. Yeah, that was kind of like replacing Curly with Curly Joe, skipping entirely over Sh- over Shemp, and um, and uh, putting Curly Joe on on tranquilizers throughout the entire episode. I'm amazed you know who Shemp is. <laughs> I've watched plenty. Plenty of Three Stooges. I kind of had no choice. My brother's crazy about them. Okay, number 26. For, for alligator. And because misspelling things is cool, so because we have a line, we're going to leave the O out and just spell gator with a T and an R. This is my brother's so, favorite Pokemon. So it's actually for alligator. True. For alligator? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's awesome. Number 25, Kyogre. Legendary from Gen 3. Don't care. That's a well enough said. Number 24, Raikou. Fuck you, roaming legendaries. I hated these guys, honestly. It's because they're roaming, obviously. I, I don't know. I just, I could never have been asked to get them out. <laughs> I never bothered to go after them. The only, one I ever got was, a... the only one I ever got was Suicune and Crystal version, only because it doesn't move around the first time. <laughs> I I um I did accidentally pick up a Raikou at one point. I just randomly ran into one of the uh, roaming legendaries by accident on my way through the area. So I just chucked my Master Ball at it. And, you know, free roaming legendary. No effort on my part. It was pretty awesome. Never used it, though. So, I kind of feel like I wasted a Master Ball there. Number 23. Cypher! Cypher! I can't use fly. Yeah, <laughs> y- you know, we were talking about that other Pokemon with with, with Scythe's arms, but, you know, Scythe's are so cool that there has to be two Pokemon Why with Scythe's on their arms. Okay, but but I'm not creative enough to come up with another reason, so this one's going to be a praying mantis that's actually green, okay? Uh, y- y- did you hear that? 
Why can't okay, you? I know I'm not using Verizon right now. My calls don't come through clear, but we're making another praying mantis. It's actually green and no random manta ray head this time. <laughs> All right. All right. That's that's the concept we're running with. You have ten minutes to come up with a concept. So um, make it count. Why can't you fly? Um, Sather cannot use fly. Looks up, Gary is standing on his bureau. <laughs> <laughs> Number 22 is Typhlosion. Ah, uh, yeah. This um, is where it's at. <laughs> it's massive, but it only has, like, the same amount of fire spikes as the, as the original version, so I don't really see the point in growing it this big. It, although it does give you more room to pet it, uh, um, it's not so cute anymore, so you don't really feel the inclination to. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's still awesome, damn it. Yeah. Number 21, Legendary from Ruby Sapphire. What the fuck is that thing? Don't care. It looks I... like a, it looks like a random brutish monster, except slightly like God. Okay. Um, number We're twenty, Alakazam. Alakazam. He's superior because he has two spoons. Double spoon. <laughs> and that makes it all better. <laughs> he also has an even more righteous mustache. I love the way it says its name, Alakazam. <laughs> yeah. But it's Abra not only a badass Abra mustache. The badass mustache is part of him. It's not even facial hair. <laughs> it's skin. It's kind of gross. <laughs> Number 20, Caesar. Why can't you fly? Okay, okay. Last gen, we made a Scyther. Alright. But, um, I don't think Scythes are that badass anymore. What we want are Crab Claws. <laughs> yes, you heard me. Crab Claws. More badass than Scythes. No, I'm not retarded. No, I'm not high. Okay, it's going to turn red. It's going to have Crab Claws. But other than that... It's, it's gonna basically look the same, okay? Very easy design job. Uh, question, developer, sir. Yes, you are going to stoop that low. Thank you. No, no, different question. Since it's red, does it go three times faster? You're fine. Yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> so it's the red <laughs> comet of Pokemon. Yeah, let's go with that. Click. Number 18 is Entei. Fuck you, roaming legendaries. <laughs> You got an entire movie to yourself, and I don't understand why. I don't know why either. What's, What's the connection between Entei's and Unknown's? I don't get it. <laughs> why are these two in the same movie together? A picture okay? book said so. <laughs> okay, okay. Back in our day, we did movies that cro that, that 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 connected Pokemon with actual connections. Okay, there was Mew, and then there was its super hyper genetic weapon clone thing, Mewtwo. Okay, they had to duke it out because the little thing was the big thing's mother. Don't ask how those birth pains went because uh, you know those left those left you know very 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 painful psychological st scars on the little one. All right. And, and and it's it's it has a perfect memory, so if it ever remembers those things, it will actually remember the pain. Uh, but I kind of forgot where I was going with this. Back in my day, we d we did connections. We connected things that were actually connected. We did not try to take um, the Sandman and Venom and and throw throw them into the same movie. Okay, I right? so why is Entei and 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 the random Pokemon letter floaty things in the same movie? All right. It I'm was pretty in sure a the picture book. <laughs> Curses! Not that picture book argument again. <laughs> yeah. Number, Number seventeen, 17. Is Gengar. This is my favorite ghost type Pokemon. My favorite ghost you know, type, and is actually one of the first Pokemon you ever see because it's in the intro cutscene. All right. You know what? I'm going to disagree. I thought Haunter was awesome, and that Gengar here was kind of fucking pathetic looking. Okay, so we go from a floating evil Rayman thing to what is this? Its hands are tiny. It's it's got legs now. It, it's uh, it has a little dimpy little tail. But it has the levitate ability. <laughs> Why does that matter? It makes it completely immune to ground type attacks. 
Yep. So it needs a special ability to do what all of its previous forms could do naturally. No, 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 no. Ghastly and Haunter had levitate ability. Oh. Well, then what's the point of Gengar? More powerful. Uh, legs. Legs. <laughs> so we're moving down in the world. Back in my day, our ghosts didn't need legs. They just had little butt tails. And that was all they needed. Alright? Gengar was Gen 1, 2. Number 16, Suicune. Damn Suicide. You. <laughs> Damn you, roaming legendary. <laughs> Suicune passed because she got a chance to be a non-roaming legendary. At least in, in the special crystal. Suicune edition. Yeah, and Crystal. <sighs> Number 15 is v Venusaur. And is that a flower or a pink polka dotted palm tree? Is that a flower or are you just happy to see me? Uh, it would be both. <laughs> <laughs> the expression on Venusaur's face on this particular um, uh, sprite, by the way, looks both demented and cross eyed. <laughs> Number 14, Super Mega Kami Ultra Chicken. Also known as Ho Oh, because the original name we had was long for the bigger than it. Also known as that golden thingy in episode two. <laughs> we tried the Phoenix first, Jen. Didn't quite work out. Now we're trying the Phoenix again. We're giving up on the bird made of fire, and we're going to and we're going to try the bird made of colorful feathers that will make your eyes bleed. We're also going to give it a, a weird, stupid feathery thing that sticks out of its head and makes it look like an idiot. I I I hope you don't mind that, but but our art director insisted. He he wanted to, you know, do at least one thing to make Moltres look better by comparison. Aren't you the art director, sir? <laughs> no, I'm the art director director. <laughs> and at that point, you just put on a curly mustache. <laughs> <laughs> I direct the art director, but if he ever threatens to quit, well, I'm kind of screwed because I don't know how to draw. <laughs> <laughs> Number 13, Articuno. Also known as getting the damn ball. <laughs> I never had any problem with this. What are you talking about? Yeah, my first time trying to catch it and I had a problem. And then I saw a funny comic later doing the same thing me. It shows it asleep with one HP on the ground just sitting there. Throws a Pokeball, it bursts open. The guy rages and goes, no. Picks it up, carries it to the Pokemon Center, starts shoving it in the PC. <laughs> 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 uh, I do like Articuno. Next to Zapdos is probably my my one of my favorite legendaries. Yeah, number twelve. Hi, Johnny. It's one of your favorites, Arcanine. All right, Arcanine. I love Arcanine. I love Arcanine. And this is why I remember buying them because, like, less than two years later, it's no longer a cute puppy, and it even has a higher chance of setting your house on fire. What the hell? Um. Yeah. Oh, oh, but I but I see what they did there because, you know, it's it's arcane, it's magical, and it's a canine. So, we're going to graduate from 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 combining words that end and begin with the same letter to combining words that end and begin with the same three letters. Uh that extra e just uh, just chop that off. Thank you. Number 11, I swear to God, when I evolve, I'm going to kill you. And the time is finally here. Because he's Gara fucking Dose, and he knows what's up. Um, he evolves yeah. from the King of Carp. Magic Carp. <laughs> what the fuck does that work? I'm pretty sure I've never seen a fish evolve into the Loch Ness Monster. Uh, wait, no. Um, Gyarados. I gotta say one Gyarados is look so all weird as fuck when my mouth is closed. <laughs> That's why he's always drawn with his mouth open, gaping no, open there, like I, an I think idiot. There's one, I think there, I, I don't know which sprite it was exactly, but there's one Pokemon game where a sprite his mouth is closed and it just looks incredibly derpy. <laughs> <laughs> Number 10, Zekrom, the cover Pokemon of Pokemon White version. Yeah. 
That's racist, dude. The the, the, the white backdrop black racist, and, the white is racist. and the black guy on top of it. Okay, so this black guy is fighting a hopeless fight against the white guy, and he has no way of winning because it's like three times as big. Unless you play, unless unless you play black and version where N has a more powerful Zekrom than your Reshiram, so you really can't win because it knows light screen, thus fucking over your entire plan with Reshiram. Why? How dare you? You counter my logic with logic. <laughs> 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 Curses, a sound argument. <laughs> <laughs> Number nine, Tyranitar. Tyranitar. Fucking useful. Wasn't this thing's defense off the fire? <laughs> yeah. Wait, it was a gold silver Pokemon? I thought it was. No, it was gold silver. I could have sworn oh, it was God. You can catch it. You can catch it. I can drop it. They're loading videos here. Uh, number nine, yeah, number nine is Tyranitar, and yes, you could catch Lavatars in Mount Silver. Uh, uh, must have been incredibly rare that huh? we're running into one. Number eight, Zapdos, my man. You are awesome. This dude won the poke first time I played it by himself. <laughs> my god, what a trooper. A shocking performance, if I may say so myself. Except yeah. when you found it, it only knew Thunder Shock. <laughs> and Drill <Yeah>. Pack. <laughs> yeah. There was that, but it was still awesome. Number seven, Rayquaza. Why didn't you finish off Diddy Kong at Smash Brothers? <laughs> Why? So when do you live in water? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lovely okay. lipstick, by the way. <laughs> Oh my god, why didn't someone tell me I had something on my face? <laughs> Number six is Mew. Now, I have a wild, wild secret for you, okay? You thought my, uh, my, my chocolate sauce, uh, eat it, shit it out, toilet combo to get, to get Celebi was awesome? Okay, wait till you hear this. Okay. You put the truck at the end. <laughs> take the copy. <laughs> Take your copy of Pokemon Green version. Not blue version, but the original Japanese green version. Not that shitty Leaf Green remake either. Okay? Take your original green version. Alright? Your 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 original imported green version. Okay. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry, Joke aborted. <laughs> Someone just came into my room and told me to, <laughs> and told me to shut the fuck up. Yes. <laughs> now, yeah, here's how you catch me. You push the damn truck. <laughs> okay. Although, the thing is, Mew was a joke Pokemon to begin with. He was put in at the last second as a developer gag. <laughs> yeah. They did not even intend on about it. It's included. Which, honestly, I like when they usually like it. <laughs> Leave it to us to find it out. So, wait. Know. Mew was put in at the last second as a developer gag because there was already a Mewtwo and yeah. people were wondering where Mew 1 was so they put it in but made it completely unattainable. Yes. Yeah, is that about right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. That's actually pretty nifty. Not like Celebi and every other unattainable Pokemon that they put in specifically to prom promote their special distribution events. Uh... And Mew can learn every move ever. Yay. I'm still trying to figure out where Mew can get the water moves, or the plant moves, where the fire moves. It's, it's, the it's Mew. It hawks one hell of a loogie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that loogie, that loogie became a, uh, an, a legendary Pokemon in the second gen. Uh, it was water type, though. Uh, can't perform every move ever, but... Yeah. Number Mew one time had allergies, and the snot it spit out became ditto. <laughs> <laughs> Number five, Lance is a cheating bastard, Dragonite. Lance is a cheating bastard. He right? has a Dragonite at level fifty. You can't have all of the Dragonite and Dragonite until level fifty-five. He's Not to mention bastard. it's Dragonite in the show, which had like eight fucking moves. <laughs> <laughs> He's a cheating bastard. <laughs> I is a weaker Dragonite 
Agonite, though, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Number four, Lugia. Speak of the devil's second cousin who isn't as known or talented or evil. Actually, he's quite charitable. He he makes shoes for orphans. But uh, I liked his movie. I thought it was okay. Pokemon, the movie 2000. Yeah, not the 2000th movie. That's that movie 2000. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, I'm not a big fan of the the, the second gen legendaries, to be honest. So Lugia is not very high up on my list. To be yeah, honest, though, uh, Arrow Blast to me is still the most painful looking move in Generation Two. <laughs> yeah, I like Lugia. Yeah. Number three, Blastoise. He has guns in his turtle shell, <laughs> man. That's not. Favorite. What do you mean they're water guns? That doesn't make a difference. Guns are evil. What is? Oh, I know. You, I know. You, I know. You just play around with it, but it's still, I want to know how the fuck does it develop cannons? It's because, Pokemon. Because evolution, you know, it, 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 um, well, you see, when when a a mommy turtle and a and a and a daddy assault rifle love each other very much, um. <laughs> I don't want to picture that, so I'm just going to stop that here. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Number two, the original, I'm going to rape your entire team by myself, Mewtwo. Mewtwo, Master the Ball. only... Master Ball, <laughs> he, bitch. <laughs> he's the infinity plus one sword uh, that you can only get after you've already been anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Master Ball. <laughs> Fuck fighting you legitimately, Master Ball. <laughs> <laughs> Any guesses as to what the number one is? Charizard. What a surprise! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Charizard. I remember back when it used to cost $300. <laughs> I still have mine. <laughs> and, I got uh, it in a, and I got it in a pack, too. Haha. <laughs> We're talking about the card game, huh? The card game that was all the rage in school, and I never got any cards until it fell out of fashion, so I kind of missed out on that. <laughs> I still have mine. That card game is evil, because because some kids actually, you know, bullied each other for cards, and, and, and someone even pulled a knife, and that was totally the card game's fault. Oh, and please, I'm not kids bully each other all the fucking stance. time. I'm not changing my stance. Keep your logic and reason to yourself, dude. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm going to bully Johnny by waving my Charizard card in his face across the internet. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad for you, I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> I never played Pokemon competitively. <laughs> Neither did I, it was a bit of a slow-paced game. Neither did I, I just had the cards. <laughs> Magic the Gathering is better anyway. Nah, one, thing I, <laughs> one thing I never understood, though. Why is Charizard Fire flying? It should be Fire Dragon. What about Fire Dragon flying? <laughs> Great, you're bringing triple types into this now. <laughs> now we're going to have six. Now we're going to have 16 time weaknesses. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yeah, so how's that for a list? But wasn't there an episode of a uh, of Pokemon series that, that, that treated Charizard as a dragon at one point? I'm sure they did. It's the anime, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> and, you, and there was another really strong Pokemon Ash left behind for no for stupid reasons. But you know what, though? He probably did it on purpose because he still remembers just how much Charizard fucked him over at the Indigo Plateau. <laughs> Ah uh, yes, oh that's right. Uh, Charizard didn't listen at all at to, to at Ash's the fucking arm. final tournament. <laughs> hmm. And at some point, there was some deep personal connection forged where he actually started listening, and that was swiftly followed by him letting Charizard go, wasn't it? Yeah, basically. Yeah, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Ash. Uh, this is why he'll never win anything because you keep giving away your most strong Pokemon. Uh, right you're, when you're, they become useful, even. Uh, you're too strong. You must go. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the future I region and start give completely my all over. Enemies a fair chance. And my Pikachu you know, that should be at level 100 by now is gonna get smacked around by 
the fifth generation gym leader's water Pokemon. <laughs> kind of like the obsessive compulsive who gets halfway through an RPG and then decides he wants to start a new game again. Uh, Speaking from personal experience, though, Lewis. <laughs> not actually, no. Um, speaking of someone I knew, but, uh, yeah. Let's just say his name rhymed with a puis. <laughs> <laughs> Funny there. Yes. Uh, yeah, I really want to hear another one. <laughs> a waka waka waka. <laughs> I was talking about my brother Steven, and to be fair, he was playing Dragon Age Origins, and there were a lot of things that you might want to start a new game for, but goddamn, finish your current game first. <laughs> <laughs> So they made a top one sixth of the Pokemon universe. <laughs> Only five more lists to go. <laughs> you think they'll ever make it to a thousand? Probably. No. Well, yeah, uh, I guess. As long as. The only question is whether or not they'll make it to a million before Nintendo goes bankrupt over another <laughs> botched console. The uh, that they'll make it to a thousand. There's no question. A thousand is within arm's reach, practically. What do you think it'll be? Shall it be U3? <laughs> just, to, just, to fuck oh. just to blow everyone's mind. We're going to skip like 700,000 billion trillion generations and just... And it's just gonna be... Mew. Well, the moment we start getting our Pokemon based on Charlie Chaplin is the day I put Pokemon down. It, it's just gonna be <laughs> Mew Infinito. The Mexican... El Luchador, <laughs> Mutant Psychic. Uh, and then they'll scrap that and just come out with Mew Zero, the artificial ar artificialness thing. <laughs> Mew Two's already artificial. Yeah, but this one's artificial artificial. Okay. Uh, I don't even know what that means. It's Sonic, but. spelled backwards. He's created Dr. Robotics Underwater Secret Lab. It's nice! <laughs> uh, but, but yeah, that, that's, that's, that's a, that's a wrap. We're done. Stop the recording. Damn it. I want to go to sleep. <laughs>